yesterday I released the official review of the TiVo Stream 4K. Now this is a new Android TV box, price well, performs well and uh, it's in a sweet spot where it's at the price of the Amazon Fire TV stick but it has some of the features of the Nvidia Shield. So yesterday's review I did the unboxing, I covered all the specs, what to expect as well as how to side load and do some other things. I covered a lot in that video and I asked you guys to drop your questions about this box in the comment section. So in this video we're going to go over those questions, answer most of them hopefully. Uh, as always if you have more questions after this video just drop it in the comments section of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Of course, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button in the top right, hit that notification bell, guys. Remember, the best way to support this channel is simply by smashing the thumbs up. One of the first questions I received was, can I add adaptive storage to this device? So if you guys don't know, adaptive storage is basically when you take a USB drive or a hard drive, you bind it to your current drive or your onboard drive, and it groups it together to make your device storage a lot larger. So this is a, a very simple process. The Nvidia Shield has that option, and so does the TiVo box. Let me show you guys how to do this. So for this one, you will need a USB-C drive or USB-C hub, or however you wanna lay it out, but the drive has to have some way to connect to your device. And also, once that drive is adapted to your device, you will not be able to use it elsewhere. You'll have to leave it on this device. So if you look in the transfer media, this is not the option for that. So to get to that option, you, first of all, you plug in your drive, whatever size it is, you're gonna go to your settings, gonna go down to device preference, gonna go to storage. So let me go ahead and plug in the drive. And there it is. So just plugged in a 30 gig drive, but you can do this in whatever size you have. If you have a 500 gig, it will work the same way. I'm gonna go down to storage. And where it says erase and format as device storage. Only option there, go ahead and click on it. It's gonna give you a warning saying, this requires USB to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting, this will only work on this device. Formatting will erase all data, blah, blah, blah. So you get the gist of it. It's gonna erase everything. It's gonna adapt it to this device only. So click format. Well, now it's gonna ask you if you wanna move your photos and apps over. I'm just gonna click move later on this one. And now it's formatted, so when you go to move apps or whatever you're doing, install applications, download movies, whatever you're doing, the device will see this as one complete drive. So that's a good option, especially for a device that only has eight gigs of RAM. The next question is about RAM. Can you upgrade the RAM on this? Answer to that is a simple no. There's no way to upgrade. The RAM's gonna be soldered on the actual um, device itself, on the board or whatever you wanna call it. So there's no way to upgrade that, but you do have the option to upgrade your storage. So another question that I receive is, how is the Wi-Fi chip on this device? What speeds are you getting? What speeds are you paying for? So for this, it's gonna really vary on where you are, what your Wi-Fi signal strength is, where your device is placed, but uh, I'll open Analydia. I'm paying for 400 megabits per second. The device is under my desk, so it might affect the speed a little bit, but let's see what we're getting. All right, so we're getting 262 um, download, look like we're getting about 25 upload. And I'll do another speed test uh, just to verify. All right, so it looked like we we're about the same place, guys. Uh, paying for 400, getting about 260. That's gonna vary based on your network, where you're connected, where your device is in relation to your router. So another question I receive is about Quick Connect. Quick Connect is an app made by TeamViewer and basically allows you to do a remote session uh, for support. So if someone was helping you troubleshoot an issue, they can kind of see what you're doing on your screen and that way you can help each other out. So Quick Connect, let me go ahead and we'll just show my desktop as well. All right, so. I have the Quick Connect app downloaded right there. And I'll just go over to it. All right, there's my connection code or whatever. I'll go ahead and blur that out, of course. On the desktop, I just hit connect. You will get a pop up on your device. Click allow. All right, 
we'll start capturing everything just go ahead and click start and there we are in the device guys so now I can kind of see what's going on you can see I can do a nudge there if I say hey when I go to the Play Store I get this error message the user can kind of talk to you you can walk them through it another question I receive is about HD home run so HD home run for you guys who don't know it's a device that sits on your network it has an antenna connected to it scans for local channels in your area and then you can broadcast those channels over your network It's a very good device it works with Plex NB Jellyfin and it also works with the live channels app on this device so if I was to go to the live channel and I'll go ahead and I'll probably blur some of this out this channel right here is over the air so is this one and you can see the quality is pretty good uh, it's gonna um, vary depending on your antenna the position your location so I've done a video on HD home run I'll go ahead and link that as well some of the channels will come in some of them won't yes the HD home run works on live channels and it also uh, there's a dedicated HD home run app that you can use which looks good as well cool thing about live channels that it also adds your Pluto TV on here so if I was to keep on going it should take me into the Pluto which all those are Pluto channels right there which is pretty cool guys so hopefully that answer that question about the HD home run and how that works with everything so the last question that I'm gonna address for this video is about YouTube TV and does it work so let me go to the Google Play Store there's YouTube TV right there so yes, YouTube TV is working on this device. If you guys have specific questions about this, let me know. I might end up getting a subscription anyway this year just to do the review for 2020. But yes, YouTube TV is working and um, it's available directly in your Play Store. One other thing I wanted to cover is that the TiVo stream has some free content in there, guys. So uh, yes, you can access it by going to that app or you can go down to the TiVo stream location or you can press the TiVo button on the remote. So it launches the area where it combines your services. So you're going to have your Netflix shows, your Hulu shows, your Amazon Prime shows in here. But if you look closely, there's actually an area. And let me let me back out a little bit. So if you look closely, there's a guide right there, guys. And you can access that from the button on your remote as well. But there's a guide. And within that guide, there's free live TV, free channels. It's not going to have ESPN. It's not going to have Showtime or anything like that. But if I was to click on that, that's a free channel. The quality looks pretty good. Let me back out. And you can kind of scroll through. Has some of the channels that you get on Pluto as well. Has some MTV in there, I believe. TMZ is right there. All right. Quality is awesome as well. So apart from that, the movies are going to pick from your different services like Prime Video, Netflix, and so on and so forth. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, any additional questions about this device, just drop it in the comment section below. Anything else you want me to try, don't forget to smash the thumbs up on this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.